A Night by Chance. Yo, what's going on? It's someone that's no one, and welcome back to today's report. This report was sent in by Kothgoth. When this happened, 2019, the drugs used were mushrooms, alcohol, and nicotine, at a dose of 8.5 grams of mushrooms, gender, male, weight, 170 pounds, age, 22, height, 6'1", prior experience includes LSD and salvia, his set was adventurous, and the setting is downtown and at his apartment. So by this dose, I'm sure you can get an idea that this is probably a strong experience from Kothgoth. Without a doubt, most would consider this a heroic dosage. The alcohol and nicotine were more so pieces of the night rather than substances that added a strong impact to the overall trip. But there are a lot of unique hallucinations, good details of coming up, even time lapses are experienced within this one. So let's not waste any time. This is a classic trip report of a night out with the boys, and I'm sure everyone's going to like it. So without further ado, let's dive right into this. It started off as a pretty normal night. Me and one of my friends, we'll call him Kenny, wanted to go out and bar hop. We managed to convince one of my other friends, Larry, to come with. We headed downtown and started drinking. After a few bars, we ran into a guy downtown who has mushrooms. I decided to purchase 8.5 grams and Larry got 3. We went to the alleyway next to the building and downed all our mushrooms with some whiskey and headed back inside. I went to the bar and Larry got called on stage for karaoke as he signed up for it earlier in the night. Kenny didn't get any mushrooms and just had been inside drinking. We hung out in the karaoke lounge for a bit when I started to feel funny and knew the shrooms were kicking in. I asked Kenny and Larry if they wanted to head out and find a bar that had a stage and some lights. They agreed. We walked outside and I can start to feel the onset of the shrooms now. I can tell Larry is too by the way he's starting to act. We get to another bar that has a band playing in it and I immediately head over to the bar. This is where it hit me and hard. I tried ordering a jack on the rocks and I felt everyone staring at me. I looked around and seen everyone staring at me but their faces weren't turned towards me, almost as if their eyes had floated off to the sides of their heads. The bartender hands me the drink and I didn't even remember ordering it. I had to find Larry. I seen Kenny just enjoying himself on his own, so I looked for Larry and seen him sitting at a table with two girls. He was staring straight forward and the girls seemed to be talking about him amongst themselves. Come on Larry, let's go smoke. Alright, he says. I start to walk out and notice he hadn't moved. Come on, I'm coming. He still doesn't move. I walk up to him and snap. He turns towards me and we both walk out. At this point, everything is going crazy. I feel like my legs aren't there and I can barely see in front of me. Everything's turned into twisting prisms that were changing in color and brightness. We start smoking and it feels like the cigarette is extending and shrinking. Kenny finds us and offers us food. I decline, but Larry accepts. We start to walk towards the McDonald's. While crossing an alleyway, an ambulance almost hits us, or at least I thought one did. Kenny seemed confused why I jumped out at the street so fast. I figured I imagined it, or he was too drunk to notice, so I ignore it. We get to the McDonald's walk-through window. Kenny orders food. I'm sitting in the corner, and a girl comes up and says, I can see it, you know? And I turn around, and she's staring at me. I quickly run away from her, not knowing if she's real or if I'm acting strange. I tell Kenny he has to call an Uber back. Where he's sitting on the curb, face down in his sandwich. At this point, I'm basically blind. All I can see are shapes and colors, and I can barely hear over an almost underwater sounding auditory hallucination. Kenny calls us an Uber and we get in. Larry and Kenny immediately fall asleep. I start to watch the prisms move past at a faster and faster rate. Mind you, it's about an hour and a half ride, but it felt like literally seconds when I get this really loud wind noise go through my head and Larry opens the door. We're back. Let's go, man. I stumble out of the car 
after going into my shroomania coma and the effects have notionally died down. I can see Larry's goofy smile as he holds the door. At this point, I stumble my way to my room and proceed to sit in the kitchen listening to Hendrix. I notice black, almost fly-like specks flying across my vision in a sequence fashion. I can hear vibrations in the air and the still image of Hendrix on my phone seems like he's dancing. I turn the lights off and enjoy the rest of my come down to myself. Side note, there was probably a lot more to the night, but most of the time, it felt like I was teleporting. It was like I was there one second, and I was somewhere the next. Almost like wormholes, so I don't remember a lot of things that night. 